What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Griffin Outdoors channel. My name is Ty, as always. I'm posting a little bit. Please forgive me for that. But anyway, we are going today. It's going to be a rare cooking video. Today, we're going to be making venison pot pie. Yes, you heard that right. Venison pot pie. So, I didn't know that was a thing until I looked it up on Google to see if it was a thing. And turns out it is. So, it sounds good. I love chicken pot pie, so I'll probably love this. I don't know what my dog's doing in the corner. Come on, out of my room, dog. All right, so he's leaving. So anyway, there goes the dog. No, don't go in the bathroom. There goes the dog. All right, so, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'll walk you through everything on what I'm gonna do. It'll probably end up being like a 30 minute video. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll see you in a second, bye. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have to get a pound of venison out. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna reach in here and get a bowl. Have to like move a bunch of stuff to get to the bowl that actually fits a pound of venison, which is this guy right here. And so we're gonna take you out, put you back, and then we're gonna get all of this stuff back. Don't be lazy, folks. Put everything back into the life lesson. Put everything back the way you found it so you don't make your mom mad. All right, so we're gonna come over here to the garage. Sorry, I had to cut the camera there for a second. But anyway, so as you see, on the bottom, all behind there is what we have left of venison. So, as you see, we don't have that much left. The one deer is not a lot. But anyway, so we're going to go reach back in here. Is this ground? I think this is ground. But this is a steak from the last video. Not la from the last deer I killed. But we already processed it. So I think the ground stuff is down here. Yep, there it is. That it is. Hold on. Grab this. Deer, two pounds, so that'll be good enough. Two pounds, and so yeah, so I'll go back into the um, into the um, back into the kitchen. Bye, guys. Upon further inspection, we didn't even go to the grocery store for this, so we're gonna run to the grocery store. I'll, I might do a little bit of filming there, I don't know, but yeah, so we're gonna go to the grocery store in a little bit and get the stuff we need, the rest of the stuff we need for the recipe I'm gonna do because we're out of stuff, obviously. So yeah. So, I'll see you there. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I see we made a grocery run. This whole stuff we need to get for the pot pie. As you see in the fridge, our fridge is a bit of a mess right now. But right in there, the venison has defrosted, so it is in the fridge. Probably gonna, as you see here, it's 12, 16 in the morning. And we probably going to start around, I would imagine, 3... 2.30, is when we're going to start. So yeah, I'll come back to you then, and then we'll start getting stuff out. All right, bye. All right, guys, it's 2.36. I decided to start a little bit earlier because we have to watch some Gator, have to watch some Gator football today, and I want to be run done before that, and it has to be done at 7, and I think we should probably, we're going to have friends over. So I think it's going to be a little bit earlier, so I'm going to get this stuff ready early. So yeah. Excuse my brothers in the background. You can hear them from that room over there. So excuse them. But um yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna put you I'm gonna so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna set you up on a tripod and then we are going to start on the recipe. So but first we have to get all of our stuff out, which I will do at this time. Bye. Right, ladies and gentlemen. As you see we have why is it hold on, let's come over here. Once again, turn this light on. Hey, now you can see. So now, so I'll just walk you through all the ingredients. So first thing that's not out here is in the freezer. Pin her up. It is peas and corn right there. And over here we got celery, carrots, venison, red wine, pie, pie crust, I mean, garlic, beef broth, onion, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, onion, no, olive oil, cornstarch, onion powder, garlic powder, flour, oh, milk. We also talk, we talk about milk. Milk's in there, as you see by the milk. Our fridge is stuffed, I know. And is there anything else? I don't, I think that's it. But if we see something in the recipe that I don't, and the ingredients that I don't have out here, I'll alert you. But any, oh, egg. There's one, that's one thing. We have all these eggs from our chickens right here. We have too many eggs. We keep giving them away to family. All right, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move on to the cooking process.
All right, guys, we have a slight adjustment here. We're going to have to use a cast iron skillet for this, which I'm not, re not really preferable, but it specifies deep dish pie pan. Now you can see under here, this is, the, we only have like really shallow ones. Well, actually, I don't like the same size, hold on, let me see. No, this one's definitely deeper. So we're going to, yeah, the, this cast iron skillet is a lot deeper than a pie pan, so it can hold more stuff, which means we're going to be using this. Yeah. So anyway, that's what our plan now, and so we're gonna start working on the recipe. Guys, so we're gonna be, first thing it says to do is we're gonna preheat the oven, so we're gonna start this up. No, first you have to hit bake um, on the up, we're gonna do upper, and 350, so we're just gonna start. So now oven's on, we have like, a, I know we have a fancy oven. I don't know why we have a fancy oven, there's really no reason to have a fancy oven, but there it is, fancy oven. But anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna start doing that. Hell, this oven could not be fancy, uh, not be fancy, I don't know. But anyway, enough with the oven. So we're gonna be doing that and I'll move on to the next step. Oh, we also need to lightly grease this thing. So I'm just gonna use, um, I'm just really gonna use um, butter to grease it up with, because we bought a bunch of butter for this purpose. We don't need that much, I don't think, but so we're gonna get our butter dish out. Our butter dish is in a rough state because someone forgot to take the wrapper out, it looks like. So yeah, so we're gonna open it. It actually gets, gets the little stray butters from when people get like corn on the cob will glue this thing shut, so whatever. All right, I feel like that should be enough butter for this, so I'm gonna let that sit for a while. We're gonna let it sit while this preheats and then we're gonna like grease that pan. And then we should be ready to put that in the oven or put, put whatever we need in it. All right, bye. All right, so then we're just gonna move on to the next step while this preheats. So it says to, we're gonna take this ground venison and we're gonna put in like I, I, and the, all the seasonings to it and then flour after we put in all the seasonings to it. And so yeah, so we're gonna do that and we'll be back shortly. Woo! No, oh, you can't see the thumbs up, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna try, hold on, I'm gonna raise the camera up a little bit so you can see me. Hello, so you're only gonna be able to see here, which is what I want, I don't care. Like, I, I used, I've seen my face a thousand times. You've seen my face a thousand times, but because of how close I have to put the camera to me, you're only going to be seeing, the, you're only going to be seeing, bleh, only going to be seeing my hands. So anyway, so we got this teaspoon here. I don't know if this is accurate. It's from, like, I don't know where this is from, but it's a thing my mom has. Anyway, so you want to, what you want to do, take the top off. There is a spoon thing for it, but I don't like using it. It just makes it a hassle. Okay, so we're going to, no, really right now. You want a teaspoon garlic powder. Put that away. And we're gonna do the same thing with the onion, onion powder. I mean, you put as much salt in as you like, the recipe says. I am modifying this recipe a little bit. I'm leaving out certain stuff I don't like to eat, so yeah. Teaspoon of the onion goes in. And now, I'll have to cut the video really quick and see because I forgot how much flour it says to put in. All right, bye. All right, so the first thing it says to do is you just want to incorporate those. Oh, we forgot the salt. Dang it. All right, so we're going to get your salt. It's in this little, this little Ranger, Ranger Joe ranch mug thing. We're going to put a little bit of salt in. There we go. Salted it is. So I'm going to just, I'm not going to get my hands dirty at this stage, so... I usually would, but I'm just gonna use this thing called Karg and we need, we're probably gonna be needing this anyway, this. So we're just gonna mash all that stuff in there. Nice, give that a nice stir. Get that seasoning all incorporated in the venison. For instance, one modification I'm using, this, I've seen other ones with ground venison, but this current recipe is sound the best. It uses like really fine cubes with, and so I'm, I'm just using ground, but it should turn out the same according to my research. All right, and with my friends and family who have done this before. So, do what you will. You can also use, like, a, so basically you can also, what I'm trying to say is you can also use steak cube steaks with this. So anyway, so that's nicely incorporated. As you see right there. All nice. There's no more, like, pockets of seasoning. It's all been mixed. So we're going to, I'm going to put this over here on the little pan. On, on my little holder thing, I don't know what the heck you call that. 
that holds the little utensil. Anyway, so anyway, we're gonna. It says next. I think was it two tablespoons of flour. I think it was. Hold on, let me see. All right, it was two tablespoons of flour. Have to go in the drawer of wonders here. Get ourselves out a tablespoon from the same thing. Here we go. Same like thing. Tablespoon. We have other tablespoons, but we're just gonna use this one because I like green. Green is fun. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go in the scooper. It's got two ends, both of which you, I presume both equal a tablespoon. A little bit over a tablespoon. Try to shake that off a little bit. That's about a tablespoon. And it goes. Tablespoon. Go out. I meant like a perfect ball. I don't, you can't see that or without me destroying it to pick the thing up. But anyway, it's like a perfect half dome. Anyway. So, get back out our trusty utensil. And we're going to just coat this. And the flour. Mix that flour all up in there. You're coming along with this whole ride with me. It's going to be a full tutorial on how to make venison, ground venison pot pie. Alright, here we go. That's all nicely incorporated. It's turned a nice lighter, lighter shade of red. More pink now. See right there? It's turned way lighter. Now there's a little pocket there. I have to heat that out. Anyway, so now we're gonna take off this excess. Preferably keep it all in the bowl if you can. So you don't have to do excessive cleanup later. Okay. You still have to clean up later, but hopefully it's not as excessive if you keep all the meat in the bowl. Alright, so anyway, so now let's see what the next step is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, everything is good over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to get our milk out at this time. Get a little nice milk. And plop, there it is. I don't usually have Borden brand, but that's what Hitchcock's had, so there we go. We're by Hitchcock's, so yeah, we got Hitchcock's brand. Or I don't even think this is Hitchcock's brand. I think it's just the brand they carry. It's not like Publix for Hitchcocks, because I've seen that logo in a ton of places. Anyway, besides that, we we'll got to the important thing, cooking more food. So, anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get a small bowl. This one, this one seems to suffice. And so we're going to put that, and this is for the egg wash. I know egg wash is required, but I didn't really read the directions beforehand very thoroughly, which I probably should have. And so, I don't know why the chicken egg. Next one here. Anyway, these are our farm fresh chicken eggs. See, very nice. They come in very strange shapes. Look how long this egg is, and like not and skinny. Now I'm just gonna crack this into this into a bowl. There we go. I swear, farm fresh eggs get so fluffy. It's so fun. I don't know what's going on in there. It feels like something in it. Oh, that's just part of the egg. I'm oh, being stupid. All right. So that gets to live. That, I'm gonna just rinse this off real quick. I'm gonna use this later, I think. So here we go, let's get to go by the other one. So now, a two tablespoons of milk are required. So I'm just gonna shake off this excess flour into the sink. Now, I'm gonna go in with the milk. One, I'm surprised it didn't spill there. Two for two with no spillage. Look at that. So now that is done. This Borden's milk seal is coming off already. So it's making it hard to close. Do that. Do that quick wrench. And there it goes. Now it's gone. I guess I'm just going to use a fork for this. That's what I assume. This video may turn out to be an hour long. I don't know. This is why I make egg washes with a whisket with a fork, because all it's required. It's got two tablespoons of milk. I hope it didn't say teaspoons, but who, what, how are you measuring teaspoons of milk? That looks sort of like an egg wash. 
Well, I think, I, no, that does look like it. I don't want to have this sorted. It looks like an egg wash. All right, let's sink with the fork it goes. So now let's see what the next step is. Guys, so next step, we're going to start cooking stuff. So we're going to get, it says a medium saucepan. I don't know what medium means. Well, I know what medium means, but I, don't, I guess this will work right here. I usually, this usually pot is used for mac and cheese. Kraft mac and cheese, highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Anyway, so, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, so we're going to use this. I don't know if that is considered medium, but it looks like it's big enough, so there we go. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to check what we need to put in, and I'll get right back, because I forgot already. Okay, bye. All right, guys, it says we have to chop this garlic, no, chop the garlic and dice the onion. So, we're going to try and achieve that. I don't really do this that much. So, we're going to do the best we can. This is sort of going to be a realistic tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. So, I'm just basically going to be following along. Well, I know what I'm doing, sort of. But, I'm not like, I'm like one of the other chefs you see on YouTube who knows, like, does, like, knows, like, has been a chef for five years. No, I'm 16 years old. Anyway. So, Yeah. We're gonna do this, and I will see you in a second with when I get the onion peeled and the garlic peeled and all this stuff. So yeah, bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you see, we are going to um, we're gonna be um, heating the saucepan up over about five heat. It says medium, so we're gonna go directly medium here. And now we are going to take our olive oil right here. Where is olive oil? And we're going to just do this little. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Olive oil, and this is when we put our garlic and onions. Give it a nice, give it a nice coat around the pan. So yeah, so that's gonna be like that. We actually might move it up. We're gonna move it up to level six. Sorry about my brothers once again, but whatever. Nothing you can do about it. So anyway, oh dang it. Okay, so we are going to. Do this. I'm trying to put you in a tripod right now. There we go. So now you're gonna get to see this. Oh crap. I really need to stop to tighten this. So what I need to, what needs to happen. We're gonna move this toaster out of the way too. Transfer the toaster, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important to uh, good filming. Anyway, so as you see this garlic we use the garlic crusher. So anyway, so now we have this garlic here. So what's gonna happen first is we're gonna we're gonna have to dice these onions first actually. So oh there's a bulge in the middle of this onion. I guess I cut it wrong. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. We're gonna quarter this half. This is really cutting it into eight. Cut it into eight. Then we're gonna cut the we're just, we're just gonna Continue cutting these up at this point. I don't know how to properly dice an onion once again. I'm not that experienced at cooking I'm just trying to help out the community by giving people recipes that may or may not work All right, so now we're just gonna I'm just gonna like start Like cutting these really thin, fine Sorry for the abrupt cut ladies and gentlemen, bro. Everyone came out screaming. So anyway What's gonna happen now? I'm just gonna continue chopping these up this is horrible form, I know, but you're gonna have to put up with it. I'm sorry, all food lovers, like, real cooks out there, I'm very sorry about my performance, but this is how it's gonna be. All right, guys, now we're gonna move on to the garlic. So as you see, I've vaguely sliced these onions up very crudely with a serrated knife, which is probably also not the best approach. Oh crap, I just forgot we have to do this one. Dang it. <laughs> All right guys. Oh God, oh. I just finished chopping up the onion, and my eyes are having a seizure. Uh, my eye, I'm literally crying, bawling my eyes out right now because of these onions. Woo! That's some strong stuff.
my eyes, like, it just got tears thrown down my face. Good heavens. All right, so now it's not safe to go over there anymore. No, nope. no. Nope. As soon as you go over there, it just punches you in the face. So I'm trying to tell him to wipe it on my shirt. Good heavens. Anyway, so we're going to, um, work on this garlic. You now this garlic should be fairly easy. Just this chop, so we're just going to sort of chop it. I already just skinned it with the garlic crusher. All right. So bam, bam, wham. So there's garlic. All right, so now this olive oil thing is doing good. I had to turn it off for a little bit. All right, so we're gonna actually turn this on. And now, I know it said to put this in, so we're gonna put this in until, I think it said till they're translucent, till the onions are translucent, so. Take this over here. And we're gonna try and bend this and get it all in the pan. I know you can't see, I'm sorry. All right. Hold on, stand by. Oh, look at that. No onions were sacrificed. As you see, we'll move you over here and plug you back into the wall. No onions were sacrificed in the making of this video. So, I can't, you can't see. I'm sorry about that, but what we're going to do, we're going to take a little plastic dish, a uh, little class, plastic spoon. That's going to get all that goodies in there. Oh, and, oh, garlic was sacrificed. That's not good. Got that, all that good, good garlic. Very nice. Oh, a little bit of skin got in there. There we go. A little piece of skin. No one can only eat skin. All right. All right, now that's simmering away. Well, I'm gonna cut the camera and see what we do with this beef, because it said to do something with the beef. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this thing's, I'm gonna turn down the heat on this a little bit. And as you see, uh, it says what we need to do with this is we need to let it go for five to seven minutes, and then we are going to add, turn it to high to like eight, I guess, level eight, and we're gonna add the venison. All right. All right, so my brothers went running past, screaming about something that I don't know about. But well, I don't want to get involved with. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to let this go for five minutes. I'm not going to do a time lapse because my phone is running out of storage space. Great planning, Ty, great planning. All right, so anyway, yeah. We are going to do, let this simmer, and then we're going to add the beef. But I have to keep constantly stirring this, so bye. All right, guys, so now, it says to turn the heat to high, so I'm actually going to turn it to about seven. And it says to add the beef and brown it very quickly, one to two minutes, and then transfer it into a bowl. So we'll have to get another bowl out, I guess. It's not, I don't know if it, we're going to go on a safer side here, just a different bowl. I'm going to have to get a different bowl just to transfer the meat, because I don't know if they want us to use one that's already had the stuff in it. I don't think we should put it back in here. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get our thing that's contaminated already with the meat. Oh, dang. Now we have to clean that up. Anyway, so we're going to... Mistakes happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit slippery. Anyway, so we're going to just... All that gets to go... All that goodiness gets to go in there. Very nice. All that good, good stuff. Good venison. All right. So now, I think we sort of work it down. I'm going to put I still want this to go to the bottom. I guess this saucepan is not really big enough. 
And that's just gonna have to like keep stirring it to get it all ground up. That sauce I don't think is big enough. I think they need to raise it to eight. No, it says high on it. I guess it will go nine. I have a clock up here. And then this says 341 and about 30 seconds. There's not seconds on here, but you know what I'm talking about. Very quick brown. It's actually starting to get brown. That's a little bit. When it says 341, when I take it off, I think it's just like searing the ground beef almost. All the ground venison. No, I think it says quickly brown. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna shut the heat off. Oh, no, it says reduce to low in the instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce it to like two. And it says to transfer all of this into this pan, into this bowl. So here we go. Put this over there, because that's not on. I'd like to prefer to not leave all this stuff in there. It seems like a lot of stuff. This isn't the best scraper device. Alright, there we go. Turn it to low. We're gonna set this off the side. Some of these onions are burnt, but whatever. Burnt onions sort of taste bad anyway. So cool. It's actually a lot of beef. I mean, venison. I'm gonna have to not use some of it, I don't think, because that's a lot of venison for this little. For this pan, you know, that's a lot of venison. What it says to do next, I'm pretty sure, is to deglaze it with the wine in Worcestershire. Worcestershire, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Worcestershire. We're gonna go with it though. Whatever, I think we just need probably, is this is three quarters of a cup. So we're gonna try and get it fixed. I guess this, this bowl probably will. So yeah. So anyway, so black. Anyway, so it's three quarters of a cup of red wine. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way for ya. Put this over here. And it says three quarters of a cup of red wine. I'm just gonna mix them both because that's what you're doing anyway. Oh, all over the counter. I did not expect to do that, but I probably should have. I have to wipe that up with a piece of towel that I really didn't do anything. See, you get the whole nine yards in this video. This is definitely going to be the final cut. Alright. Very nice. Wipe that up. Nice and good. Alright, so all that's gone. No stain. You have to wipe the red wine up really quickly before I leave a good, good size stain on the counter, which you don't want. Anyway, and now it says two teaspoons of the Worcestershire. This one, yeah. We have to open this bad boy. How do I want to open this? It's like a tear. Oh, there's a tear thing. Oh, there it is. I'll put that there for now. That's about 
properly, but I sort of still am aware of how the ball looks on. He's got one of these funky tops, he doesn't let it come out. Oh, that's the wine bottle. Luckily, it didn't get anything on it because it was red. Alright, so now this, this can go back over here. And this can move over here. Now, for the fun part, we, we glaze the pan. Hopefully, this doesn't start a fire. I don't think it will, though. Well, let's see. I think you're supposed to leave it on high on further inspection. It's supposed to smoke and stuff when you glaze it. And, like, really get that stuff off. But it seems to be working well enough. All the stuff off the side. So, all right, I'm gonna end this video. Alright, guys, so now the step is this has to be on like level seven, hot, medium high, until this is all the way gone almost. So, it says scrape the brown, brown bits. I'm gonna give you a nice up close and personal look. See, all the brown bits are there. I have to reduce this for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, it says. Do I want to, is it ideal to me to wait that long? Probably not, but it is what it is. But anyway, so yeah, and then we have to add the beef broth and everything. But I think it gives us other stuff to do. Stand by, we'll have to move the other stuff over here, the dirty dish pile, and I scrape this last meat bowl into the garbage can. Very nice. All right, so. Yeah, it says add beef broth and then add something else, but I'll get back to you once that time. Alright guys, so it says, it gives us stuff to do. So it says bring this pot, large pot of water to a boil, and I will have to access some stuff. Uh, I have to, I have, no, I have to check the access the directions really quick and see our red wine reduction with Worcestershire shots looking good over there. And so, yeah, so I have to look at the directions really quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so what it wants us to do now is it wants us to get our celery, three stalks, I think we're only going to use two though, because to save space in the pan, we don't really have a lot, yeah we don't really have a lot, so we're going to, how do we oh, get this celery, that's like jam in there, oh my god, oh well that's unfortunate, jeez, Oh, it's all one big celery. I don't see it. I thought they can't, in public they can't stalk. Anyway, so they're like individually stalked. So, or at least some of them do. So we're going to do two. I was trying to pull one off and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like an idiot now. one carrot just to save space once again. Although I don't really, not the biggest fan of the humble carrot. So anyway, I love celery though. We're just going to use the same knife. I'm going to chop this part off, both of them, because that's full of dirt. And it's white. I don't think you're supposed to eat the white part. Um, celery. I don't think you're supposed to eat this either, are you? I don't think so. I'm going to chop these off. If not, we can serve more space, whatever. I don't care. I'll let you see the leaves. Once again, no experience. But anyway, so we're gonna 
says to do this with it, like large slices. One of those really was really little. Okay, there we go. Now let's do the same thing over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now this is also boiling. Or, no, it's not. Water is getting is warm at this time. Well, that's because I'm only doing it on one. There we go. I'm not being an idiot anymore. All right. So now we have to salt this water. I'm sorry you can't see this, but I'm just adding salt to water. Nothing really interesting. I'm gonna take our our reduction is doing good. It's not quite there yet though. We're just gonna use. No, we're not going to use the same spoon. I hate to be making all these dishes, but whatever. We're just going to use this, dissolve that salt in the water, and now we have to just chop this carrot. It doesn't say it to peel the carrot. It doesn't have to be there, but there's this one that wants it small. Wait, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I know you're supposed to cut off the head. But I don't think you're supposed to just slice it like that. Maybe for the lower one it's okay. I think we're just supposed to... Uh, no, I think we're supposed to slice it, like, really small like this. That one just ran away. This is the trash pile. Alright, so we're just going to make these really minute. I'm trying to make them run away from me. I'm going to small, oh that was a pathetically small piece. Crap, that's on the ground. I would do it with my dog, but I don't know if dogs are supposed to eat carrots. Crap, another one on the ground. All right, so we're gonna move this to the back to avoid putting more on the carrots on the ground. As it gets bigger, just the slices get thinner. Now these are gonna vary in size, but whatever. These just keep trying to go off the edge. That's pathetic, it smells like a chip. Crap. And this this large side, I'm just sort of cut it like this. There we go. Carrots and celery, we're gonna throw this trash away. And is this boiling yet? Or does it start to boil? Okay, this is confirmed not boiling. Oh, dang. Okay, that needs to be turned off. This red wine reduction is looking good. And so it's basically dry. So we need to set that aside for the gravy mixture. So that gets to be set aside. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be the end of this segment, and I'll come back when I put the veggies in. All right, I just remembered I was supposed to add beef broth to this red wine reduction. So, there it goes. Now I'm going to reduce heat to low, add red wine. I, I add the beef broth and stir. So I just did that, and now we'll, we're done with that, so bye. All right, guys, as you see here, we have strained the veggies out of the cold water. I had to do it, but I can't roll my phone's deleting videos, so I can actually film more. Yay. All right, so I'm going to put this cornstarch back in the skin. All right. So now this is trying to thicken up. It should be done any second now. Yeah, it is thickening up a lot. Corn starch is definitely activating. 
It's activating a little bit, but it's not actually doing much. We have to like raise the heat. But it's not simmering either. I'm gonna raise the heat, see that it's on level four. That is pretty hot. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll try. We'll try raising the heat. I don't know what to do. But anyway, yeah, so we're gonna do that, let that sit, and then we're going to, when this gravy is we're gonna get the pie crust ready right now is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna, here we go. Oh, got to see my feet for a second. All right, so there's that view. We're gonna, do, we're gonna take some butter. Well, that simmers. We're gonna get this, this thing ready to go. It's gonna be draped across the meat. I don't know if that's good or not. Anyway, so we're gonna get a butter knife. And yeah, so we're gonna get some butter. Pour it over there. Oh, that's not a good idea. They said this would work on the internet. I mean, it's kind of working. We're not gonna. Yeah, maybe just some more butter. This is, I guess this is greasing it. I know we have that Pam stuff. I said, well, I guess there'll be a golden brown crust a little bit on the bottom here. But we have pan grease. I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, this is probably much better. So we're gonna shake. Oh yeah, look at that. Get the side. All that good stuff. That goodness. Oh, all right, this pan's simmering now, which is good. Oh yeah, that's thickening it up. As soon as we get the simmer, it's starting to thicken up. All right, good taste. Woo! That's some good stuff right there. Right, so we're gonna open these pie crusts. Let that simmer a little longer though. So we're gonna open these pies and crust. The crust of the Pillsbury dough pies. I'm not just making that up though, so these are Pillsbury pie crusts. Alright, whatever. So now, oh come on now. Open up, open sesame, I say. Screw this, get the food scissors. Now this is what the part I was scared about. If I mess it up, it's game over. Oh! Came rocketing out of like a wet noodle. All right, here we go. I'm scared about this, guys. It's like morphed together. Over the cast iron. Good heavens, I'm scared to do this. I want to, I don't want to mess this up. I guess I should probably go in the opposite way. Maybe like this, that probably seems like a better option. Alright, here we go. This is depressing. I can't figure out how to do this. All right, here we go. Oh, we're getting now. Oh, it just rolls off. It's just rolling off. Look at that. That's easy. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're failing. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Get this rolled out all the way. Then we'll worry about the rest of the crap later. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's not it's slightly too small. But so it's gonna be, it's really gonna be a pot pie. So it looks good. I didn't do a horrible job. It's not horrendous from what I can see. All right, so we're, that's, that's gonna be good enough right there. And I'm gonna have to lay the whole thing right over the top. That's good, I'm happy with that. 
All right, so now we're going to take this gravy. We're going to test the thickness. Oh, that's good right there. That's some good stuff. All right, it's thick. Very thick. Mmm, that's so good. Taking a little taste. Very nice indeed. All right, now put that over there for a second. First thing I have to do is we're going to move this out of the way. Then I'm going to add the veggies into the deer. Add that. Now it's mix time with our deer device. The deer, I think it's just, I don't know what it's called. I know it's used to like break up ground and stuff. All right. So, that is good. It's incorporated and mixed, as you can see. Now, we're gonna try and order this slow. I don't know how much this can handle as far as the amount. I'm gonna try and get as, fit as much in here as I possibly can, though. I don't think it's gonna be able to fit it all. Yeah, I'll be able to fit this all. Beautiful! There's a little more over here. I like celery, so I'm not gonna try and get all the celery. I think that's all we're gonna be able to fit. There's only little scraps left anyway. I did wash my hands, so it's safe for me to do this. Do that. Very nice. Yeah, obviously you wash your hands before you're done cooking. All right, so that's all thickened up. Look at that. Look at the thickness of this gravy. Very nice. I don't know. I don't think we'll be, I don't know how much we'll be able to fit on it. But I'm gonna check the directions before I do this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Out of the oven. I'm gonna cut into it in a little bit, but that's what it looks like. It looks really good. Bye. All right, guys. Here is the finished product on the plate. I'm gonna flip you around. Sorry, you can still hear my brothers. We're gonna get a little bit of the crust. There we go, let's just see. Uh, holding the camera and doing this is hard. Here we go, point it at me. Hot, but good.